Hello everyone, welcome to Boxing Block Center guys and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all so I'm going to open a new banger a new exclusive you will definitely be notified before we proceed okay before we of course give our take on this subject uh, we have to definitely play a video clip of Tassim Fury addressing racism towards the travelers. You know what I mean? Saying that uh, it's not okay to be racist to, towards uh, as people, the travelers, also known as the Roman and Gypsy people. Let's just play it and then give our take on it. By the way, I'm right with my brother Ta at Jagbe. Stay tuned, guys. Hey, this is Tyson Fury. Um, we just finished a protest in Morecambe. Quite a few people turned out um, showing support for the TLM movement. It's not okay to be racist towards travellers. It seems that in the United Kingdom that we're the only ethnic group, only race of people that it seems to be okay to be racist towards and it's tolerated. Well, if not, we will stand up, we will be united and we will be counted. This was only a small gathering today. But I will be calling on every traveller, gypsy, in the United Kingdom and Ireland to unite and stand up. Not just for us, for your kids, for their kids' as kids' as kids' as future. There must be a change, and that change is now. We are ready for a change. Let's get together and be united and stand up for our rights as human beings. Human rights. Get together and make something happen in 2020. Let this be the. So you guys have heard it from Tass. And um, what can I say? Fury is a very interesting person. Okay. You know I don't want to give my take here. Let me just invite my brother to Jack Bay. Okay, he's right here with us to give his take on Fury statement. Because I have a lot to say, and it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. But first of all, I will say, I don't support any form of discrimination towards any group of people. But I think it needs to be addressed right here. Some things need to be addressed. Tajak, my brother, how are you doing? Um, you heard Tyson Fury himself, you know. Um contemplating about the discrimination towards his people saying that it is not nice for people to be racist in the 21st century which our, I solely agree with but I mean there are some things you need to say to this which I'm gonna speak my mind but what's a take on Tassifiri's you know stance on of course about uh, regarding this issue of um Travelers being uh, discriminated or kicked out by the by the British, British government, you know. Um, we'll take on that, bro. Well, I don't know if Tyson is just stupid, a hypocrite, a liar, a deceiver, a, a manipulator. I think he might just be all those things that I've said. You know, he's not a people's champ. Not a people's champ stands up for what is right. He is standing up for something, but I think he's doing it because he wants to manipulate people. Try to perceive himself what he is than what he's not. Not too long ago, Tyson Fury blasted Anthony Joshua for his speech. AJ was standing for a movement for the people who are who don't have the voice and all of Tyson Fury's haters they jumped on the bandwagon and berated ridiculed made fun of AJ and in turn made fun of the black and African and the Caribbean community now Tyson Fury has been downplaying black people or or African American uh, 
Black Lives Matter movement, which I think, yes, they're the parts that stand for good. And those are the bad, and there's the bad apples. But AJ stood for the good, the good side. And Tyson Fury has always tried to downplay, saying there's no racism, no, you know, try to include himself. Oh, I've been discriminated against, bro. If I put you a white person, if you go anywhere else, and, I, and you go with a black person anywhere else, you will stand out as a white man. They will look at the guy, black guy, as, as different as the color of his skin. Tyson Fury doesn't see that. He believes, oh, he's included in that. How are you included in that? You are not included in that. The gypsies is not a race. They might, they might be so-called uh, 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 um, perceived as, as a protective race in England, but if they go anywhere else, they're not race. They're Europeans. They are white. That is it. He ridiculed AJ. Now he's coming out and saying that 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 to to uh, 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 um, to uh, Boris Johnson to do something. Wait a minute. <laughs> the same Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson, you told them to not to take down the statue of Winston Churchill. Mind you, can I say? I think Winston Churchill might have decided to eradicate. The gypsies that you are trying to defend He might decide to say No, we're going to kill all the travelers hmm? To save Great Britain isn't, isn't that who you are worshipping And now in turn you're telling Boris Johnson To stand up for The travelers What about The Black Lives Matter movement So you're telling me All lives don't matter Just certain lives matter basically Black lives don't matter, just certain lives. So now you're standing up for the gypsies saying they're racist. No, you should know the difference between racism and people being prejudiced against certain groups. The travelers is not a race. They're white. That is it. They're, they're not being... If they go anywhere else, put them against black people. The travelers will be seen as a race. They'll get treated better than black. So I don't know what Tyson Fury is talking about. And again, I'm going to tell him again what in his face, if he hears this. You told them, you told Boris Johnson to not let them throw down a statue, a guy who, who, who caused a great famine in India. A guy who I could easily say, can easily also say, yeah, let's wipe out the gypsies too. I see, the, I see them as garbage. That's who Tyson Fury is standing up for. And I can't believe that even the so-called gypsies are telling them, uh, are standing by Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a hypocrite. And he's a white man. That's plain and simple. He's nothing else other than that. And him trying to downplay, downplay uh, uh, the, 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 the Black Lives Matter movement saying, that, uh, oh, he, he's so-called uh, a bit discriminated against just like that is, is pure and utter bullshit. And people need to watch it. I've been saying it. Tyson Fury is not a people's champ. He's a deceiver and a manipulator. And that's I'm, that's just me being very honest. That's why I'm going to end it. Thanks, brother. I really appreciate it. I want to give my take on it now. I want to say something. I saw the video Tyson Fury posted on his Instagram. Uh, I mean, this the video I just played not long ago. Or, or he posted it on his Instagram, uh, Instagram page, and it then he had it, del he had it deleted, or he deleted it, you know, later, 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 later uh, afterwards. But there's one he posted in his uh, Twitter page, his Twitter, where you know, a guy was like uh, a gypsy guy. Um, I mean, a traveler, an Irish traveler, because I don't really see Tyson Fury or travelers as gypsies. They might have some gypsy ancestry, but they are not really gypsy, gypsy, because the gypsy people I know, the, the Romani people I know, who of course are found in Romania, some are in Spain, some are in France. In Spain in particular, I actually encountered a lot of them. In Spain, the Romani gypsy, the gypsies, the Romani gypsies are seen as crap. Okay, they are treated very, very badly, I tell you that. They are looked upon by the Spanish uh, uh, population. 
I can tell you that. I can vouch for that because I, I saw it first time, you know. And the Spanish people always accuse them of stealing things, not paying taxes, you know, <clears throat> you know, um, lawlessness, you know, many, many things they accuse them of. And they also say they, 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 they you know, when they, they have, you know, when they, when they, when they marry very early, they, like the gypsies, they have their own way of how they behave in a way. And I cannot fault them for that because every man is free to, to, to live his life or his own life. But at the same time, if you're living in a, in a, in a country that has laws, you don't become lawless. You know what I mean? So, but I don't, I still don't support, um, how, um, the Spanish population view the, 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 the gitanos. They are called gitanos in, in, in Spain. I don't, I don't, I still don't support it. It's very bad, you know. And uh, you need it's not it's not it's not good to treat someone like that. But I don't, uh, you know, I don't I don't I don't admire the idea of Tassim Fury of that of that the video if the video he posted of that guy saying if 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 a group of black people were to steal something here, will you label all blacks together? You're talking about black people that are more than one point something billion people in the world compared to the gypsy that are not even close to uh i mean uh, uh, uh 30 million gypsy in the uk are not even close to 30 million they are not even up to uh 20 million 15 million black people speak different languages I and mean, why do people want to compare their struggle to ours have you been a slave for more than, for, for more than 500 years you know, the the, the 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 European scheme more than ten million people of the people. Are we are we forgetting that King Leopold II did more damage than Adolf Hitler did in in Germany? King Leopold II killed more than ten million Congolese when he ruled there. Okay, but you never see anyone protest about it because it's black life. It doesn't matter. Tassifiri himself talking like this, saying, "Oh, yeah, Jeff Rowley, uh, Travelers Lives Matter, trying to compare it with Black Lives Matter." You, 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 you are an idiot. If you go to the U.S. right now, nobody will see you as a traveler, or whatever. They, they will see you as a white man. That's just a fact, and he knows this. He knows this because look at how he used his privilege when he's in America. I, listen, I'm not a Deontay Water. I'm not a Deontay. I'm a fan. I'm not a Deontay Water uh, uh, fanboy. Don't what I support it what because it's Nigerian. It has Nigerian blood. But I remember during the like during the build up to that fight, to the, I think it was the second fight or first fight, when they what I talk about Nigeria and about the struggle and many many things like that. And Jasper was saying, "Oh, I don't want to bring race into this." You know, this, this, he was trying to like act like a diplomatic. You know I me. Mean? Now all of a sudden. You know, uh, 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 travelers' lives matter. When Joshua, you know, stood firm and fought uh, and, was, and and protesting for, for Black Lives Matter, he, this guy came in and said, "All lives matter." He even posted a picture of uh, Winston 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 Churchill. Okay, a guy that a guy that imprisoned uh, 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 Africans in Kenya. You know what I mean? And then, I mean, are we fucking? Uh, let's not talk about the Sri Lanka or Bangladesh uh, genocide. So, Taz and Fury, all this are just, you know, this guy's an hypocrite, bro. I tell you that. Like, and like I said, I don't support any form of discrimination towards any people. Like I said, I've seen, I've seen it live and direct where the, the, the gypsy, the gypsy, you know, uh, uh, people in Spain, I, I've seen it. I've seen the maltreatment of them. But at the same time, when you, you, you have to respect law, bro. You know, you respect law. You know, I mean, you you must respect law. You don't just go to a community and uh, and implement lawlessness there. It doesn't it doesn't matter where you are. You have to respect the law. You know what I mean? Except the gypsies have their own country, which they don't really have. You know, gypsies are everywhere. You know, they don't really have their own country. Okay, you cannot have a country in Europe. They would never give you a country in Europe. It's just a fact. You know, and there's no way. I understand that the gypsies have been treated very, very unfairly in a way because, I mean, uh, our, our the Jewish, the Jewish people got Israel, and uh, the, the the gypsies. You know, I mean, they've been here for, for I don't know, for for I think maybe thousands of years. They've been in Europe, maybe on let's say more than let's say six hundred years now. So, but still. You know the people they are in. They are in with the Europeans, the Iron Race, and the you know the 
Germanic tribes, they will never give you inch of the land. Never. <laughs> you know already. They even got to, they even came to they even came to Africa and destroyed it. Went to Australia, took over. Went to America, took over. <laughs> Went to all over the world, apart from Africa and, and some parts of Asia that they didn't take over because people were too many for them to take over. They took over Australia from the Aboriginal people. So what is that you saying? Don't compare your struggle with the black struggle. Very different because if you go anywhere outside England, in fact, in England people see you as God. Eh? If you go to America, people will not see you as a, I mean, as a traveler. So, do you even know how people are neglected and are abused because of because of their skin color? Do you know what it is to have a a, a melanin skin a, 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 a skin color skin tone? Do you know the eyeballs and all the stuff? Even right, even in Germany, go to the Bayern area. You know, take a train. Maybe just take a train, and you see the a, a, if a police come a, a comes into the train, comes on the train. The first thing he see is a black person. He goes in. The first person he, he will control is a black man. He doesn't go to the German, you know, he, because he he, just, he look, the first thing the jam the the the, the Bavarian uh, police see is a is, is is your skin color. If you have a, a millennial skin color, they will come to you direct. Who is an advice? Advice. I don't see that happening to the Goyners here. So let it just let it let it. This guy, the guy, the Chris, you know, don't even like. I, I don't support just any form of discrimination, but don't compare your struggles with black struggle. You got it because you like it's not even close. Okay, yeah, everybody want to be black on his, until it's time to be black. You know, everybody want to be black on it, until it's time to be black. That's when you know that the struggle is real. From me, from Africa to America to Australia to uh, to uh, to uh, New Zealand to. If your skin tone uh, is dark, even to India, let's talk about India for example. How many black Indians do you see on TV, on Bollywood, in Bollywood? I used to think myself that Indians look like all, all Indians look alike, like they look the way because where I was growing up, I watched Bollywood. But until I did my research and saw that, whoa, there are black Indians, there are even cities. The CDs are of African heritage. You know, they're India right now. So, so, you see, the people you see, they present on TV and you watch, the Bollywood we watch, they are like, some of them are even bleaching to be, to like, bleaching their skin. You know what I mean? Even in, in China, in uh, Japan, in many places. The systemic, I mean, I don't, this is, this, this channel is not political, but at the same time, Tazifiri is making me speak my mind right now. I don't want to shout too much, but don't come here and criticize Joshua for fighting for his people, his people that has had nothing, you know, had, had nothing but oppression, just for the basic of their skin color. Oppressed in their homeland, oppressed out of their homeland, oppressed out everywhere, oppressed in Australia, taking over, you know. Bro, the Aboriginal Australians right now, in the next 50 years, there will be no more Aboriginal Australia, bro. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> there will be that, that, like they would that, they, there will be few very few if they had if they're still here, there will be few very few number. The only continent, the only mel melanin continent they couldn't take over is the Afri it's African continent. They tried, you know, it's the slavery, is the even now neocolonialism, imperialism, many, many stuff. But we strong. You cannot take it over. They take, they took our forefathers to America, you know, beat them up in Brazil, you know, like many, had a South America, like, bro, the African Americans, some of them, that, some of them were already there, some of them were taking their millions were taking there, they beat them up, enslaved them, you know what I mean? All to break, all because of their skin color, all to break them. But still, they still survived. So, if you have not gone through that struggle, don't ever compare your struggle with ours. It's so different. You know what I mean? So, anyway, guys, um, let me not uh, run too much about this. Stay blessed, young Jumbo. I just had to say in my mind because Fury is an hypocrite, man. Talks too much. 
fight for your people. I don't support what what's going on, what the government is doing. The same Boris Johnson you were saying, Boris Johnson, do something now. The same Boris Johnson you were just praising the other day. Keep him praise on them, keep him praise on Winston Churchill, you know, I mean, I don't know what it was. <laughs> and the more interesting, the, the most interesting, the more uh, very, the more ironic stuff is that this guy is, is saying Gypsy is a race. Gypsy is not a race. He's an ethnic group. You know what a race mean? And stay blessed, guys. Cheers. <laughs>